What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be working on the Civic once again as we do have a brand new OEM front engine mount and we have a rainstorm on the way as well. So we're gonna try and make this as quick a pit stop as possible. First things first, jack up your car. All right guys, so with the car jacked up, we're gonna climb on underneath. And up in here is our motor mount. We're gonna have one bolt here, one up there, one here with a nut on the other side. I'll show you guys that. There's a nut and then there's the other bolt as well. These are pretty crusty, so we're definitely gonna be hitting these with some PB. Now if my research was correct, everything should drop right out for us with a 17, so I'm gonna get under here and uh, just break them loose and then we're gonna support the engine and then we're gonna take the bolts out. No! All right guys, so we got number one here loose, we got number two loose up in here as well. Number three is loose up on this side, and that one way up there was pretty tricky to get at, so I think I'm gonna open the hood and try and get at that from the top. She is... Way down there, I don't know man. Bottom might be the way. All right guys, so here's my little solution for fitting a cheater bar up in there, whoops. Honestly, I just pulled these plastic clips out on the bumper, a couple on the bottom just to separate this plastic guard. And it creates just enough room to pull this out of the middle and slip your cheater bar up in there. I'll show you from the other side as well. So there's our wrench hook way up in there. And we can just slide our bar. This is difficult one-handed, let me tell you. Up in there, right over. Focus, and now we got a good grip, and I'm feeling some raindrops, oh no. Let's get this one loose, and then uh, we'll take a rain break. Oh, there's the raindrops, oh no. Let's clean up, Never mind. Ah! Oh, it's gonna be raining good, I can feel this one. All right guys, so unfortunately with the rain, we're at a little bit of a stopping point. I think I'm just gonna go tune some cars on Car X until it stops. All right guys, so sun is shining once again, which means around two, we're gonna head out into the driveway. We only got the one bolt left, so we're doing pretty good. So once we get this last bolt out, we should be able to just move the mount out and put the new one in. All right guys, so all of our bolts are now loose. It's time to support the engine. I don't think this step is actually necessary for this mount in particular, but I like to do it anyway. At least it can really do is keep the motor in the same place, which makes it easier to line up when you put the new mount in. You guys know the deal, just supporting the engine, not pushing up on it. All right guys, so here's where we're at. Mount is all unbolted, nice and loose, and ready to wiggle on out. I heard it's a tight squeeze, so I might need two hands for this. I would have loved to do it on camera, but I think I'm gonna need to, uh, need to crawl under here and use both hands. So I really wish I could have filmed this for like from the top, guys, but the wind is just way too bad today, unfortunately. But if the camera would focus, you guys will see way down in here, there's a hose and there's a little clip. See that clip there? I just separated the hose from the clip so that I had a little bit more clearance from the mount. Let me show you guys from the bottom what that looks like too. So from underneath, guys, this is where our mount was previously. Up under here is our hose. There's our clip. We just moved the hose up out of the clip to get a little bit more clearance. And if the mount was here, it came up and then twisted around and fell out back this way. I know that's hard to explain. Sorry I couldn't film it as I was doing it. Like I said, the wind's been crazy today. It was blowing my camera around earlier. But the mount will come, the mount will come up, clear that hose, and then you can rotate it around and it'll fall out. All right guys, new parts and hardware ready to go back into the car here. We're gonna do everything we just did in reverse and we should be looking pretty good for today. All right guys, so here's the new mount in the car. Like I said before, I'll show you with the old mount. They come out upside down like this. So when you put this in, you're basically gonna start feeding the mount in upside down like this. That. And then it goes all the way up, makes a full rotation around until it eventually drops in upside down like you guys see in here. 
All we really have to do left at this point is throw the new hardware in, tighten it down, and give her a rip. All right guys, so here we are with our mount. Once again, we got one, two, three bolts all threaded in nice and easy. Let me show you the other side as well. So here's the other side guys. We got our third bolt into the engine block right here. And then this nut is on the other side of that big long one that goes through the subframe. Make sure the tab on the nut threads into the seat on the subframe as well. All right guys, so the car is all done. We are ready to let it down and go for a test drive. All right guys, so that's how to install a front engine mount on an eighth generation Civic Si. Up next, we're gonna take it for a test ride, see if it fixed any of our issues. I'm hopeful, I don't know, we'll see what it does. We gotta, we gotta prep for storms out here, boys. Yep. Freaking nor'easter, dude. All right guys, so here we go. We're gonna test drive the car with the new front mount as well as the new transmission mount. We're gonna see how it feels. Right off the bat, feels about the same backing up the driveway, but we'll see here, give it some time. Okay, and we're off. Feels a little bit better, turning to the left there. I was getting a little bit of a vibration before. Still a little bit of that buck on D-cell. That might be the lower torque strut. Okay. All right, so it's better. It's better. A lot of the acceleration wobble on the axle is gone, and that's really what I was hoping to fix here. So I'm happy about that for sure. Hopefully it continues to be good as we drive it around a little bit more here. All right, guys, so we're out here on our test drive. Now, I have to say this has been a huge improvement, and I'm really glad we threw this mountain. The biggest improvement is that the steering wobble under acceleration, especially on that kind of right side, is gone. The car also pulls way straighter, which is a lot more fun and a lot more confidence-inspiring. It's also tracking the road much less and feels a lot more stable if you're cornering at higher speeds. Again, guys, really glad we did this. The car feels so much more solid. No more jiggles under acceleration. There's still a little bit of slob, it feels like maybe from the lower torque strut, so I think we're gonna take a look at that next. I did throw an aftermarket one in a long time ago, so that could still be an issue. But honestly, the first pull I did from a stop, I was blown away at how much better the car felt. If you guys made it this far, I genuinely appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe for more just like it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.